Now, why should you want a reasoned decision? Well, first of all, and I think perhaps most important, you have a client that's been paying for this process who's upset that there was a dispute to begin with, and the client wants to know whether they win or lose, why? How did it happen? A reasoned decision gives them that advantage. Second, although there are limited opportunities to challenge a decision in appellate proceedings, certainly having a reasoned decision will facilitate the possibility of attacking the case on appeal. And third, arbitrators clearly are human, and occasionally they will make errors, computational errors or mis misunderstandings about information, and having a reasoned decision may give you an opportunity to go back to the panel and say, there's an obvious error here, how do we get it correct? What are the cons about having a reasoned decision? Well, the first, obviously, it will take more time to write a decision. And therefore, it means that the arbitrators will spend more time, their fees will mount up, and consequently, the process becomes more expensive. Then, perhaps the most important aspect of this, one of the reasons you'll remember that I explained why people want to use arbitration, certainly companies, is that they are concerned about not having a precedential impact or precedent established. Well, if you have a reasoned decision, it may have some precedential impact, and certainly it may come up in a later arbitration when there's discovery and people manage to get, find out that there was a previous dispute of a similar nature, 